Hi babies! It's Andeng. Welcome to my channel. Tara, kwentuhan tayo. Hi babies! Kamusta ang lahat? Um, it's weird na nag-record ako na 5.25 in the morning. Um, nagising lang ako in the middle of my sleep kasi merong thunderstorm dito. Um, the kids are sleeping still kasi nagpatugtog ako ng lullaby for them. Kaya lang, syempre ako, hindi na ako makatulog. Tapos, ang lakas pa ng ulan and kidlat, tsaka kulog. Um, sa mga nagtatanong, it's very scary when you're living in a high-rise building. Meaning, parang kita-kita mo yung guhit ng kidlat sa langit. Parang ganun. So, um... Sinarado ko lang yung balcony door ko and a few of our windows. And hopefully, um, later on, mag-subside na yung thunderstorm. So, um, ano ba magandang pagkwentuhan today? Um, I was watching um, yung last na live nating lahat. And I figured maybe I could do a vlog on letting go and moving on. I mean, di ba na pag-usapan natin na it's not always easy to always let go and to move on. Most especially if um, masyado nang matagal yung pinagsamahan mo at ng ex mo. Let's put it that way. Kasi ang pinag-usapan natin nung live is about letting go and moving on from your ex dun sa naging partner mo. And then I um, came into a few um, articles that I've read and it's all about like moving on from everything, hindi lang sa breakups. But, um, masyado akong parang naglude dito sa article. And I was like, oh, it does make sense na it's hard to move on sometimes. Kasi we're focusing on the good that had happened. Alam mo yun, di ba yung nag-usap-usap tayo parang, oh yes. Dapat mag-focus ka dun sa good kasi total maganda naman yung memories niyo together, right? I mean, di naman dapat kalimutan ka agad yung magagandang nangyari. But um, according to the article I read, parang it's also good to remember the bad memories. Um, for me kasi parang as much as possible, I don't want to remember the bad memories. But then... Um, okay din pala na matandaan or maalaala yung mga bad memories. Um, siguro talanungin nyo kung bakit. It's because um, these are all parts nung person na dati mong minahal. I mean, minahal mo siya um, like everything about her or the totality of her personality. Minahal mo lahat yun. Mapa maganda man yan, mapapangit man yan everything you loved everything about the person so alam mo yun okay lang and normal na maalala mo yung mga magagandang alaala about her and okay lang din and normal na maalaala mo yung mga bad memories about her too it doesn't necessarily mean na parang um, you're trying to compare apples from oranges kasi yung good versus bad memories tapos naghahanap ka pa ng bad memories just to make you feel better. Kasi syempre, iisipin mo, kailangan mas madami yung bad memories para mas madali ko siyang makalimutan. I think the article is suggesting that. But contradicting to that article, I would say na parang... Um, 
there's no point really to remember or add negativities dun mismo sa nangyari between the two of you. I mean, kung meron man siyang bad side, then you've already accepted it. I mean, there's no point really of finding more negativities for this person. In fact, like what I always say, um, when you go through a heartbreak or if um, you go through this breakup or something like that, it's your opportunity to actually look back and find yourself again. Shempre, when you're in the middle of a relationship, Siyempre, most of the time, iisipin mo yung partner mo. Like, paano, ano mararamdaman ng partner mo. Um, everything about the person. For the person. Yun ang iisipin mo. Sometimes, you lose yourself along the way. Kasi, nagpo-focus ka masyado sa partner mo, yet you neglect to look after yourself. Like, nakakalimutan mo na na meron ka palang self. Parang ganun. And the moment that you break up with this person, that's the time that you'll see na meron palang ikaw. Like in the first place, um, di ba sinasabi ko na before na go back and love yourself. Kasi before you could love another person, it's necessary and it's adamant na ikaw ay buo. Kasi imagine loving a per- loving another person. Di ba nagbreak kayo na ex mo, and then you jump into another relationship, and then fall in love again with your heart broken still. I mean, it's gonna be difficult not only for the new person, but most especially it'll be more difficult for you. Kasi darating yung point na because you're not over with your ex magiging rebound relationship mo na lang tong bago, which is really, really unfair for the both of you. So, um, yun nga yung sinasabi ko. Um, I think it's best and it's normal to just remember pieces of the good memories before and even the bad memories as well. And then, by the time na you've, like, everything um fell into place, dun mo realize na parang, oh, um, I should have focused on myself more. Kasi nga, nag-focus ka masyado sa kanya, you made her as the center of your life. So, nung nawala siya, parang, it took a big toll on yourself. And it put a big hole in your heart. But then, it's your chance to actually Redeem yourself. It is your chance na binigay ni God na para bigyan mo ulit yung sarili mo ng oras. Um, it's easy to say, really, pero, I mean, ganun yung ginagawa ko ngayon eh. Like, um, siguro sa iba sa inyo, everyone copes differently, di ba? Like, for every pain in na daman natin, everyone has a different coping mechanism. So, for everyone na may pinagdadaanan, like, kung ano man yan, like, heartbreak, family fights, um, fights that you have with your kids, kung meron man kayo mga anak, um, but let's just focus on fights, like, breakup fights, or fights with your um, karelasyon. So, um, I would just say na if you're going through a breakup, um, ano mo yun, don't find reasons to go back to the same person just because you're feeling lonely or you're attached to them. Diba parang ganun tayo eh, marupo kasi tayo minsan. But then, you're just giving them another chance and another opportunity to do it all over again and hurt you. Pero, if you're like me, medyo ako kasi yung tipo ng tao marupok talaga. Like, 
sometimes I forgive the person even though hindi pa sila nagsasorry sa akin. I mean, I know it's not right, but for me, okay lang na ganun. Kasi I don't want to hold grudges in my heart. And um, as long as I can, I would give chances. But just like what I read na parang you have to put a stop to this cycle. Hindi nyo dinuscuss ko ng life. Kasi it's only you who can put a stop onto this. And then, find time to talk to your family or friends about a lot of stuff. Like random stuff. Like yung mga times na um, masaya ka. Or kasama mo yung family mo. And then, mapupunta ka do sa point na you will realize that you matter to a lot of people. Alam mo yun, parang may isip mo na, ay, mahalaga pala ako sa pamilya ko. Hindi lang kasi dapat sa partner mo umikot yung mundo mo, di ba? Um, sometimes, sinabi ko nga na let's just focus on the good memories pero maganda din na to understand the bad memories kasi dun mo maiintindihan kung bakit hindi nag-work out ang isang relationship so when you go into another relationship, ma-avoid mo na yun and then you'll be able to have a longer and more fulfilling relationship in the future um Minsan, our minds are really clouded with the fact na nasaktan tayo. But, um, time does heal everything. Pero, hindi naman necessarily na today, hindi mo nakita yung sagot sa mga tanong mo, madi-discourage ka na. I don't mean it that way. Um, you may find your answers and you will find your answers sa lahat ng mga pumabagabag sa'yo and sa lahat ng tinatanong mo sa sarili mo only and only if your mind is clear of everything that's making it cloudy. Alam mo yun, parang mas maintindihan mo na may mga bagay-bagay na nangyari at may mga bagay na hindi nangyari and then you'll be able to accept these much better. Parang mabibigyan ka pa ng opportunity na um, ma-feel ulit yung mga positives. And then, kapag you're in that situation na bago kang break up, you actually should focus on yourself and whatever can make you happy. Um, I say this kasi um, yung hindi part ng restrictions before. Alam mo yun. Um, kasi when you enter a relationship, syempre, merong mga bagay na gusto at ayaw yung partner mo. And most of the time, we focus on doing kung ano man yung gusto nila and avoiding kung ano yung ayaw nila. Right? And then, some of the fact that parang, alam mo yun, hindi mo gagawin yung mga ayaw niya is sometimes that's part of your happiness. Like, for example, going out with your friends or, um, like, let's say, for example, yun nga, um, you avoid going out with your friends just because ayaw no partner mo na tumatakas ka or ayaw niya na um, lumalabas ka with your friends. So, ngayon na you've broken up with this person, you have that liberty back to focus more on doing whatever can make you happy. Yung hindi na part ng restrictions when you were in that relationship with that person. Diba? So, I guess, yun nga yung mga sinasabi ko, just to make things easier for you. I mean, I don't promise it'll be easier today. Um, I don't even promise it'll be easier for tomorrow. But eventually, it'll be easier. I mean, I know and I understand that it's hard today, but, alam mo yun, darating yung time na marirealize mo na it happened because God intended it to happen. Um, he may have seen things na hindi mo nakita. So, 
just trust his process and i know na darating yung time na babalikan mo na lang yung masakap na breakup nyo ng partner mo and then you will realize na with that you learned something or i hope you learn a lot dun sa mga pangyayari na yon and then i really hope that you focus more on loving yourself kasi everything goes back sa sarili mo everything starts with yourself so to look after yourself um uh, magayos ka magpaganda ka um and then that will be the only time that you'll be able to love more kasi you found yourself back and when you love yourself you'll be it'll be easier for you to love someone else again um so thank you babies for listening i know medyo boring na yung topic natin about moving on but for everyone na may pinagdadaanan um i hope na makayanan niyo yan um just pray and lift everything up to god kasi kahit iwanan man tayo ng lahat ng tao god will never ever leave our side He will always be there to support us. He will always be there to forgive us. And He will always be there to love us. Kahit iwanan pa tayo ng lahat na naging partners natin sa buhay natin, God will always be there for us. He's the only constant sa buhay natin. So thank you babies again for listening. I hope everyone is staying safe. And any concerns or um, if you have something that you wanted to talk about, you can reach me through my Facebook page, Andeng the Writer. Or you can even message me through Andrea Gray on Facebook. Or even you can, you can comment here as well. Um, so until then, babies, sa susunod ulit na kwentuhan, mahal ko kayo.